We are part of this universe. We are in this universe. But perhaps more important than both of those facts is that the universe is in us. This fascinating quote by Dr. Neil deGrasse Tyson invites us to recognize the undeniable cosmic curiosity that attaches us to the rest of this universe. While some may look up and fear the unknown, astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson sees it as a part of not only himself, but all of us. Dr. Tyson has been the motivation for my interpretation of the universe and has led generations of ambitious learners into the world of science. At the age of nine, Neil visited the Hayden Planetarium where he claims to have been called by the universe under the shimmering night sky. Ever since that night, Neil has devoted his time and effort to giving everyone the same enjoyment of the galaxy that he experienced when he was a young boy. His visit to the planetarium enthralled him so much that he came back later in life and worked at the planetarium for years until he became the first ever Frederick P. Rose, director of the Hayden Planetarium in 1996. To this day, Neil remains a director at the planetarium and still gives the same inspiration to the kids as the staff gave to him when he was a young boy. When Neil was just 15 years old, he had already established enough knowledge of the cosmos to start leading public lectures on various topics of the universe. He has kept this aspect of connecting to the audience all throughout his career maintaining his collective delivery and his voice that cuts through to the audience. His ability to break down unfathomable material into layman's terms goes beyond that of his predecessors. The way Neil carries himself in his profession not only wows the audience, but also earned him the award of the People's Magazine Sexiest Astrophysicist Alive in 2000. In 1995, Dr. Tyson began to write the Universe column for the Natural History magazine, and it consisted of all different kinds of uh, science and universe facts. Tyson soon found himself hosting the four-part miniseries, Origins, on the PBS Nova series. With his witty and humorous TV personality, Tyson was the perfect fit to host the 2014 series, Cosmos, a space-time adventure. And after gaining popularity in the public for years, Tyson wanted to use his abilities to gain a wider spectrum of viewers that he could reach. So in 2015, he began hosting his own late night talk show called Star Talk. The show brings popular icons and also Neil together to have a talk about current world issues, science, and many other subjects. He knew that bringing other popular figures into the world of science would help to gain attention from the people who may not have been interested in science before seeing a popular figure discussing the matter. Dr. Tyson has received many awards for the work that he has accomplished in the science community. One of those awards is the NASA Distinguished Public Service Medal and is the highest civilian honor bestowed by NASA. Dr. Tyson has, was awarded this honor in 2004 after serving on the President's Commission on Implementation of United States Space Exploration Policy in 2001 and the Commission on the Future of the United States Aerospace Industry in 2004. President George W. Bush appointed Tyson to both committees in which he served. Recently, Neil was also awarded the 2017 Stephen Hawking Medal for Science. But perhaps the most prestigious award of them all was having an asteroid named after him. Asteroid 13123 Tyson was named in honor of Neil in 2000 for his outstanding achievements in the field. Neil is a teacher, a learner, and an advocate for all things science. He promotes being wondrous, asking questions, and being yourself. We can all learn something from him, whether it's about carbon stars and the galactic bulge or how to communicate a message. Neil's life studies are, on one hand, a part of his own curiosities, and on the other hand, a symbol for the world of intellect. Let us not forget the man that gives us his time to teach us about our home, our universe, and ourselves. Thank you.